Also tonight, Wright State students gather to discuss their professors scheduled right now to go on strike in less than a week. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow is at Wright State after speaking with some of the students. All of the students I spoke with tonight say they aren't taking sides in this fight. They just want to see the union and the administration come to a resolution. But many students say they are concerned about their classes and possibly walking into substitute teachers come Tuesday. I'm kind of concerned about it because I am in my upper level classes. Students stuck in the middle of a labor dispute over compensation, workload, and benefits. Students are very worried. Um, they're worried about, you know, their classes, uh, whether they can get letters of recommendation, how this is going to affect their accreditation. Some students at this forum hosted by the Student Government Association asked about who will be teaching classes in place of faculty members on strike. I want to have the quality teacher there to be able to kind of like get the quality education I need to be able to get my degree in the spring. And right now, I mean, if we have some staff and faculty teaching a class, they have no idea what it is. What, how are students really getting the quality education that Wright State's promising? The university's president has previously said students are expected to go to class. She says all classes will be covered by qualified faculty members and administrators. All of the students I spoke with say they plan to go to class. I'm just trying to take classes. You know, I, th I think that's what a lot of people are here for, and I think that's what a lot of people are kind of concerned about. If they continue to have a professor with materials, then I, yeah, I'll keep going to class. I paid tuition. I want to be here. Some students also express concerns about financial aid and attendance of classes during the strike. The university sent an email to students Wednesday saying, in part, quote, as long as students continue to meet course expectations related to attendance and coursework, their financial aid will not be impacted. Students should understand that dropping, withdrawing, or unofficial withdrawal due to never attending classes will result in a reassessment of financial aid through the return of Title IV process. The forum was open only to students. It was closed to the union, faculty members, and administrators. The Student Government Association is urging all students to go to class. In Fairborn, Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you.